What were your first impressions of Sam Hamam and Peter Risdale? How did they how did they manage to sell you their version of Cardiff City? Well, my, my first meeting with Sam and Manny tried to get me to eat sheep's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and other things which I, I won't mention, but um Sam and Man was was a big, big character in the football world. A lot of people thought he was crazy. Uh, he probably was, but um, he, he was part of what, what you, you guys won't remember, but the Wimbledon crew, they called them, and they did crazy things, crazy, crazy things. My first day in the job at uh, Cardiff, he got one of the apprentices, Sam a man, to let all my tyres down on my car. So when I drove off, I didn't know all the tyres were flat on my car. Um, as I said, he tried to get me to eat sheep's eyes. Um, he'd walk around the pitch and get the crowd going and jump in the crowd. He, he was crazy, but um, it, he was... he was. I've worked for some crazy chairmen, but I have to say they've all been fine. Uh, Peter Ridsdale... Did the fantastic job at Cardiff, considering when I went there, there were 60 million in debt and no money, no players. So it was a complete rebuild, and that's what we did. Um, and within the first two years, it was very difficult because we had no money whatsoever. So no training mentioned- ground, nothing. It was unbelievable. Um, so when you see the club now and the stadium it's got now, uh, I feel very proud that I was part of of doing something at that club. Really. So you mentioned there, Dave, about Sam Haman. What was his reasoning then for doing these things to you with your tyres and the, the sheep size? Was there a reasoning behind it or was it, that just him? Uh, just him, I think. When He was certainly crazier at uh, Wimbledon because they used to start fights and um, break things and everything else there. I think it was just him. I think he he felt it was part of it. It was like a big act for him. Um, but he, he, he was a, a really nice man, but he was a crazy man to work for. Uh, he, he'd ask you to go and sign players that you knew you couldn't sign because we didn't have any money at the club. But he always tried to say, oh, go and phone them up and see whether they'll loan them out or something like that. How much have we got to pay? You know, we've got five pounds to give them a week. So, you know, they're on fifty thousand pounds. Not gonna happen. So he was he was always uh, he was an enjoy it was an enjoyable time to work for him, but it was also a crazy time. Is there one player that stands out that he asked you to sign that was never gonna happen? Yeah, he, he asked me to sign a player at uh, Fulham who was on sixty thousand pounds a week. And the most we could afford was like two thousand pounds a week. <laughs> so why is the player going to come to us? And uh, he he actually sacked me three times within the first month I was at the club. And because I said no to him, he sacked me. And then he he phone you up and say, uh, "You'll do me, boss. You'll do me, boss. You 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 don't agree with me." So it was like a game. So once he sacked me the second time, I knew. He was never really good. He didn't really mean what he said. It's just if you said no or disagreed with him, he'd throw a tantrum, sack you, go away, and then think about it and then phone you back up and say, I was only joking, boss. You know you know me, I'm only kidding. So uh, <laughs> crazy things like that, that would happen. But um, the first 12 months of Cardiff was very difficult because having no money and not knowing whether you're going to play the next game because they hadn't paid you know, the football league or the the electricity for the floodlights. It was a very difficult time. Um, but the players that are brought in were, were all ways and strays. You might not understand that way, but the ways and strays were, they'd always been... I brought in alcoholics, gamblers, uh, all the players that had been released from clubs that were good players, but also had a problem. 
So again, going back to your early question, was getting inside their heads and finding out what made them tick. And they were great, great players to work with as well because you could see them change and turn their life around as well, um, which was great to see. And they did a great job the first few years at Cardiff because nobody else had given them an opportunity. But they were the only type of players that we could afford. So uh, to see them change their lives around was also a great feeling as well. 